this is video four and we are defining the root of fear which in the last video we learned that that root is this word here resh aleph and it literally means head strong as we saw in the last video but in the Bible this word is actually translated as see so Yeshua gives us um, uh, some a visual depiction that we can use to really understand the connection between the sight and the head strength and in Matthew 6 22 and 23 he says the light of the body is the eye if therefore thine eye be single thy whole body shall be filled filled with light but if thine eye be evil thy whole body shall be full of darkness if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness how great is that darkness and it's clear to see here that Yeshua is not talking about just physical sight but he's actually referring to perception and so he says if you per if your perception is evil well then everything in and about you is going to eventually be evil but if your perception is uh is single it's one it's whole if you have a whole perception well then everything in you is going to be full of light okay and so we're talking about perception and i say that to point out that this word re or ra is actually better defined perception as opposed to see so to perceive versus to see but to perceive encompasses the ability to see right so it's just a um, a more complete definition of this word is perception now another way to look at headstrong is to consider it mind power mind power which is the exact same thing as head strength okay now the head strength um, understood as mind power is developed by a person's perception um, or what a person sees likewise what we perceive lends to our mind power and so what is evident is a um, interdependent relationship between the mind power and the perception um, in other words one really cannot exist without the other so head strength and perception are inter interdependent con concepts and um, they are equally represented by this one word resh alef and so they the same word the same hebrew word defines both of these different concepts and that is how they are related but it's it, it's um, important to know that what they contribute to one another so so what one sees or perceives contributes to their mind power and head strength and a person's mind power in head strength affects how a person sees or perceives and just to make sure that we have a, a really good idea of this concept let's just look at it in a more physical way and so I'm gonna have my little smiley face guy here and whatever he sees or perceives fills the mind and from the mind the perception is affected and what Yeshua is saying is that if the perception is dark everything is going to be dark but he says if the perception is whole if it is single well then everything will be full of light and so uh, the saying I have to see to believe is a perfect expression of this idea um, that connects head strength to perception but the same could be said about I have to believe to see so in other words um, we have to see or perceive to believe 
and we also have to believe in order to see and so it's that kind of interdependency that we see with this this root word re which as i said is usually translated as see so we're talking about one's own personal strength absent of god absent of any um anything or anyone else we're referring to one's own personal strength and how their own perception um, affects what their their strength actually is or how much mind power they have and these are really one and the same because they are interdependent one cannot exist without the other